Good morning and thank you for joining me here at Y254. It is the third day of July 2024. My name is Wahumungai. So as we begin this segment, um, Grace taught me something that I would really like to extend the hand, which is what are you grateful for? What are you grateful for this morning so you can reach us on all our social media platforms at y254 hashtag y in the morning that is on instagram twitter and facebook thank you so much karibu sana so we'll begin this segment by doing what's trending what's not in the country outside etc so um i want to read to you something has really caught my attention this morning it's called we call it's what we call blessings over blessings so um a mother just uh conceived quadruplets so uh, according to uh bbc it is one in seven hundred thousand chance of conceiving so um arlene and john michelle uh, conserved uh, quadruplets and we're so happy for them. So let's get back to Kenya. So there has been so much demonstrations um, with reference to the finance bill, rejecting it, not just removing the clauses, but rejecting it all over. Um, so there have been many pro uh, protests in the country, not just in Nairobi, but all over the country. And all I need to say is, um, <coughs> sorry, all I need to say is be careful because it is no longer um, the peaceful protests we thought we had or we thought we were holding because um, so many cases have come up of people being robbed, um, businesses being looted, people just not in the safe place that we were, um, you know, peaceful protests. So um, there have been videos um, on all social media platforms going uh showing that so many people have been looted. I saw a video around Upper Hill uh, of motorists. They see any passerby, that is so wrong. And all I need to tell people is people need to be careful. Um, there has also been this thing that is trending where um, the government spokesperson, that is David Mwaura, did not come for an interview with Okwara and I mean we need to know the reason you cancelled you had your reasons yes but we we're really waiting because you know you speak on behalf of the government so we were definitely waiting to you know hear what you have to say and uh, so much has been happening in our country and we're not even forgetting uh, that schools had closed for midterm um, some schools have opened while others remain closed I hope that uh, will be taken into consideration because others are learning and others aren't learning. So definitely should be taken into consideration. Um, so even as I peruse through uh, social media, um, I saw a video where protesters came uh, for the protest with caskets. I do not know what they're trying to send, what message they're trying to send, but they came with caskets. No fear, no fear, just came with caskets. So definitely the government needs to really um, sit down and uh, talk to us, not just, uh, you know, because ha it has to be a dialogue. We have, as we, as Gen Z's protest, uh, they need to be heard. And even on the side of the government, uh, we need, they all need to sit down and communicate and talk, definitely a dialogue. So um, I have heard of an instance where members of parliament are being increased, that their mshahara yao are, are being increased. And I would like you to tell us or uh, share with us your views uh, on our social media platforms, that is at Y254. Um, so I'll go ahead and read this. So it says that MPs should agree to the scrapping of NGCDF once they, they return from recess. Uh, MPs must demonstrate leadership and sanction. So this was from Tabitha Mutinda. So, I mean, yes, because we are trying to hold the government accountable as the Gen Z, they are trying to hold the government accountable because we need to know where these funds are being allocated. We need to know if it's being allocated in this certain sector, is it right? Or is it too much for this sector? Should it be put in a different sector? So definitely dialogue, definitely, definitely. And 
Um, I see so much of Saba Saba uh, on the internet and even as we go to uh, communications at, uh, at on X, so many people, it's no longer a peaceful protest and it's getting people really scared because you do not know you're coming uh, specifically to protest peacefully, um, to uh, show uh, your concerns concerning the financial bill. And then all of a sudden there's so much um, kuna mambo mengi yana happen, you know? Um, and also considering uh, so many people have lost their lives, uh, heartfelt condolences to the families of the lost uh, of the loved ones who lost their lives and i see that an, op uh, an autopsy reveals that the young boy who died in rungai was cause uh, the cause of death was being shot eight times our heartfelt condolences go to the family of uh, this boy who died in rungai and um, even as the protests continue please be safe uh, mind your uh, your friends and everyone else because we're not here to do this alone even as uh, the community because i've seen even others other generations because it's not only uh, gen z i've seen even other um generations that is the millennial gen y which is millennials um they're also wanaungana mikono because we need to hold uh, this government accountable and I saw even there was this uh, interview, which has been the talk of the town. Uh, it was uh, for President William Ruto and uh, our journalist, Lena Kaikai. And food for thoughts, it has really brought an uproar, but we thank um, the government on the side for even bringing out so that you know we can hear what uh, they have to say on their side and even as we continue the show please do tell us what your thoughts are on what's happening in the country are you safe do you need mental support do tell us on all our social media platforms at y254 hashtag y in the morning and as we go to our game sector, which is definitely, definitely fun, um, due to public demand, because so many people, well, many if you have a, uh, on social media, uh, they really want a replay of the game we played here with Grace. Uh, so definitely, we will tell, I will tell my producer to definitely show us uh, that game. <laughs> 